All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we have uh, a, a comment that we have to bring out. Uh, I thought that this was pretty neat. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and start out with Scripture. Absolutely, we're going to start out with Scripture um, because we're still talking about uh, the Bride of Christ and how that the Bride of Christ is not the body of Christ. And you know what? We're going to stay, we're going to stay with the scripture because we just want you to see how obvious God talks to people. I mean, he talks to us in an obvious way, right? Um, because if you want a relationship with anyone, how many of you know that you need to talk their language? Okay. Now, I have a friend who, <laughs> who, uh, whose mom and dad did not speak the same language, all right? Didn't speak the same language at all. And I was like, well, how did that happen? Well, it's because they still communicated. Oh, my goodness. They communicated in a way that each one understood. So even if the languages are different... The thing is, we can still show each other a mutual respect, in their case, mutual love, in ways that are perhaps nonverbal. How many of you know that God is the master communicator and he knows how to communicate with every one of his creation? All right. And so we look to the Bible, which is the word of God. OK, uh, and and we have all we need, obviously in these passages of scripture. So let's go ahead and start out with the word. All right. Revelation chapter 21 and verse nine, it says, and there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, come hither, I will show you. That's what the means. Right. I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. Now, what do you think he's going to show us? Is he going to the body of Christ? Is he going to see a sea of people? No. Watch this. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Now, he is describing the city, as he said in verse 10. So we see that the bride is actually a city, not just any city, but the city, New Jerusalem, which Paul said is the mother, female pronoun again, of us all. So we want to get into this comment here. OK, which I thought was pretty interesting. You guys, please make comments, feedback. Uh, let me see what you think about this. All right. It says, cool. Been looking at all these bride videos since 2018. You pointed out some stuff I did not know. Funny how Deborah means bee and Samson ate the honey from the beehive from the ribs of the lion carcass. Watch this. So you have the women making honey took from the ribs of a lion, which is Jesus, and ate by a man, Samson, meaning of the sun. And it all relates to Jesus on the cross and being pierced in the ribs. Then understand the roof of a church has ribs and a boat or ark has ribs. Jesus is the boat. Then you have Deborah mentioned with donkeys and, and Samson used the jawbone of a donkey to kill an army. Jesus words are sweeter than honey and words coming from the mouth. 
jawbone. A donkey has a cross pattern on his back, so is carrying a cross. Jesus rode on the donkey. The jawbone beat the flesh of the soldiers, killing them. So maybe it's like Jesus' words is what's going to crucify our flesh, making us spiritual. You see, now I know some of that maybe have gone all over your heads, but to those of us who love things like that, we can say, my goodness, that's that's what we're talking about. We like, we love it when people bring out those things, right? Don't we? I mean, I do, right? Because th- those are the things that you can live off of because you recognize that Jesus is himself prophetic and so are every one of his people. Everything Everything that Jesus did is prophetic. Everything that Jesus does is for a reason. Why do you think we keep bringing up there's a difference between the body and the bride? We must rightly divide the word of truth if we're going to, like this commenter, see Jesus as he is in reality. And that is, he's everywhere. That's what God means when he says, I'm omnipresent. He's everywhere. He's everywhere in scripture. He's everywhere should be in your life. He's everywhere in the Christian's life. He's everywhere in the saint's life. Everywhere. From the ups to the downs, from the mountains to the valleys. He's there, man. (laughs) We see. You want to see Jesus? You want to see Jesus? Watch this. Having the glory of God. Who is the glory of God? Jesus is the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Why do you think it, why do you think the Bible is worded in this way? Why do you think that? It says, and her light was like unto a stone most precious. The Bible says the lamb is the light. But not only that, it says like unto a stone most precious. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. A stone most precious. What's the most precious stone that you can think of? Could it be a cornerstone? Not just any cornerstone. But Jesus, the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone. Now, if you remember in the Old Testament, didn't didn't it say something about a jasper stone talking about the body of heaven? Clear as crystal. Bible says in verse 12, and had a wall great and high. Listen, who is it that surrounds Jerusalem? Didn't it talk about the Lord being a wall of fire around Jerusalem? Do you see how he's everywhere? So we can read, we can literally read verse 11 of the book of Revelation chapter 21 like this. Having Jesus and Jesus was likened to Jesus. (laughs) he's everywhere because he is the glory of God. He is the light of new Jerusalem and he is the stone most precious. But one thing he is not is the bride. This city is the wife of the Jesus of the Bible. That's right. God has a wife and her name is New Jerusalem. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.